Hello, Hyperaxis here, and I have a suggestion from Baby Raptor. Also, I'm going to be playing Universe Sandbox 2, as you guys are probably aware of. He has a suggestion where I should collide a black dwarf with a red dwarf, so let's find a red dwarf. I think my standard go to red dwarf would be Proxima Centauri, which, as you can see here, is quite a bit smaller than our sun. And I guess if I wanted a black dwarf, what I could do is grab something like a white dwarf. Which would probably be down here at the bottom. That's a pulsar. 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 Hmm. Yeah, that, that, that's not going to work. Uh, there we go. That would be a white dwarf. And I guess just place it as a still object next to Proxima Centauri. And then what I want to do here is I want to increase its age, which should work. So let's go to billions of years and make it 1,000 billion years. And that didn't seem to actually do anything, so I guess the other easiest way would be to just drop its temperature to zero degrees Kelvin, which is absolute zero. So there we go, that is a black dwarf. So, I guess what's left to do is just hit play. I don't know which one's actually falling into which. Looks like they're both just going to the center of mass. And they are getting ready to collide. Something, oh, oh, that was a little bit interesting. It's still supernova like I expected it to. But that was interesting what happened there. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this. Just remove the supernova. There's no remnant, by the way. Uh, nothing actually remained. Just get rid of the supernova. And let's do that, but a little bit slower. So we can actually see what happened there. So let's put Proxima Satori there. Let's place another one right here. No, wait. I want to place a white dwarf. That's right. A Sirius B right here. Let's zoom into series B, let's change its temperature to absolute zero, and now it's a black dwarf. Let's go ahead and slow down time so we can get a better look at what exactly happened there. Oh. This temperature is actually climbing? Why is that climbing so sporadically? Look at that. Is it because it's actually being heated by this other star? Let's change its age again. 1,000 billion years. And let's change its temperature to 0 degrees Kelvin. No, it's actually reheating. Whoa, look at the temperature. That's weird. Is that possibly from like tidal for no? What's going on with the temperature? Okay, let's remove Sirius. Oh, you see it grew a little bit there, probably because it's oh uh, yeah, it was actually pulling mass from Proxima Centauri. Let's put Sirius B over here, this time a little distance away. And uh Let's drop his temperature back to zero degrees Kelvin. And hopefully it will fall right into Proxima Centauri. I place it as a still object, but it looks like it's trying to kind of orbit. It might actually miss the star completely. Did I just make a stable orbit? It's stealing mass from Proxima Centauri. Oh wow, I might actually cause a Type 1A supernova. Well, let's just watch and see if that happens. That'll be, that'll, that'll be kind of interesting. Speed up time a little bit. Is it gonna go supernova? 
Proxima Centauri is like flickering between a brown dwarf and an actual star right now. Okay, that is super weird that that actually happened. Uh, oh, there goes Proxima Centauri. Well, let's just go ahead and blow it up anyways. There we go. Type 1A Supernova. Why not? I'm going to say a different class of Supernova. But, oh well. Let's go ahead and start a new simulation and see if we I can recreate this properly. And stop messing around with that. Okay, so Proxima Centauri. Right there. And where is Sirius? There it is. And let's drop Sirius right here. Let's increase its age to... Let's go for 10,000 billion years, because why not? I don't think the age really makes a difference, so that's why I'm not... Caring too much to actually do that, but let's drop the temperature to zero, which is the more important part. And... Maybe a little bit slower than that, let's hit play. Let's start falling towards each other. I wonder what the mass difference is. 1025 Jupiters is a mass of Sirius, and 129 Jupiters is a mass of Proxima Centauri, so Sirius B is definitely the larger mass in this. They're drifting towards each other, but it's going a little bit slow, so let's speed up time. Track of Sirius and make sure it doesn't go up in temperature like it was doing before. And slow down time. Getting closer. It doesn't appear to be doing that sporadic temperature thing this time. And it's about to collide. Slow it down like one more big step. Once it gets closer, you see it's actually getting mass from Proxima Centauri. You see a lot of these clouds of gas. Now it's about half of real time. Okay. So that was an interesting flash. It looks like uh, Proxima Centauri just went through a nova. And it looks like the Black Dwarf is what went supernova right there. And as you can see, this star is getting, or brown dwarf, is getting incredibly hot. Of course, it only flashed to a very hot temperature. It looks like it's dropping rather quickly. And there's no remnant from the black dwarf. It completely exploded. As for Proxima Centauri, well... Don't really know. I think it's going to remain a brown dwarf, or be cooked away by the supernova, which I kind of doubt will happen. Should be able to survive this. And it looks like Proxima Centauri survived this time. Probably regaining quite a bit of mass from all those particles around it, but who knows? Could just be losing mass. Nope, it looks like it's actually getting mass. Well, that was an interesting result. This time Proxima Centauri survived. But, in this game at least, whether it would happen in real life, we don't even, I mean, black dwarfs don't even exist, they're completely hypothetical, uh, we wouldn't really know, now would we? Uh, but in the game, star plus star typically equals supernova, so this is the result that I got. Anyways, if you guys liked the video, please leave it a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe, it really does help. And I will see you guys in the next one.